Good afternoon everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Um, just came out for a bit of fresh air and some sunshine in between the, uh, the clouds. It's getting a bit cooped up at home, I have to confess. Um, I hope you're all well. I'm doing well. I, I've had a few days where I felt a bit gloomy, but this warmer weather and the sunshine's like picked me up a bit and I just had to get off my ass and get outside and enjoy the air. Um, for those of you who are suddenly finding yourself at home with kids who are doing schooling at home, just remember that this is really new this is new for everyone it's new for you it's new for the kids it's new for the schools um, just be patient it, it's probably going to take a couple of weeks to, to get into kind of the swing of things um, all, all your, your kids teachers are doing the best they can do everyone's doing the best they can do with the resources they've got and that's certainly going to differ between schools um, so just be patient that's that's the only thing I can really recommend. I, I'm not a teacher, but I do work in the school system and I'm, I'm privy to some of what's going on behind the scenes to help facilitate all this. And there's definitely a lot of extra work for our teachers um, that they probably have to give a whole week's outline to their kids. They have to reconstruct some of their teaching. They have to kind of write it in a way that is, you know, deliver to deliver it in a way they're not used to delivering it. Um, I know a lot of the teachers in my schools are up till midnight at the moment just trying to work out how to rewrite things and how to deliver things and stuff. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, and with your kids, I think maybe junior, junior school kids, it might be a little bit easier. They, they sort of have stuff that's a bit easy to do just just remember you don't have to be a teacher this, this is not your job to be a teacher your job is just probably just to ensure that they've got the resources they need you, you keep them well fed you keep them hydrated and you just provide the encouragement um, and have a talk to them about the importance of self-discipline and a life skill that's what this is really a life skill and if it all gets too much, put down the books, turn off the computers and go for a walk outside. Don't be too hard on yourselves, don't be too hard on your kids and certainly don't be too hard on your teachers or your schools, they're all doing the best they can. Um, and even a lot of the staff that aren't teachers, like I, I wasn't required at the moment, but there's lots of technicians and stuff who are... <laughs> a lot of lab technicians do the work because they like, they like being behind the scenes and now they're suddenly asked to or they might be, might be asked to get up and do some experiments and film them and be on cameras and that's way out of their comfort zone. But this is what this is all about, really, getting all out of our comfort zones and adapting. So I hope that's kind of helpful and I hope you're having a good day. And um, thanks for listening and watching and I'll talk to you later. Ciao.